Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our immersive engineering tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at blast bricks and the blast furnace. Um, you're going to need to build a blast furnace to create steel, and all of the machinery in uh, immersive engineering requires steel. So you're going to need steel pretty quick, um, which means you're going to need to go to the nether, because if we look at the recipe for blast bricks, you need four bricks, four nether bricks, and a blaze powder to get two blast bricks, and you need 27 of these. Now, if you're on Revolution 2, the uh, and you follow the quest book, you can actually get the blast furnace uh, without going to the nether, because you can get nether bricks and blaze rods as quest rewards. So if you're playing that pack, that's pretty cool, because you don't have to go to the nether to get this. But anyway, uh, let's build it now that we've got our blast bricks. You're going to need 27, so you'll end up crafting 28. Um, so let's build it. So it, it builds the same way as the coke oven. You just got to build a 3x3 three three solid cube. Alright, and then whack it with the engineer's hammer. And there you go. It's a crude blast furnace. Now if I right click on this, you can see the GUI. You put... Um, a fuel source over here, and an iron ingots here, and what you get at the other end is steel ingots and slag. Now there are only two types of fuel that you can use in the blast furnace. You can use charcoal, or you can use coal coke, or blocks of coal coke, or blocks of charcoal. But charcoal and coal coke are the only things you can put in here, and conveniently those are the two things that are produced by the coke, uh, uh, coke oven. So that's the reason you need a coke oven, really, to make fuel for the blast furnace, as well as the creosote oil for other things. Now, charcoal and cold coke are used in different amounts to, uh, from each other. So if I place some iron in there, and I place some charcoal in here, you can see how quickly the little flame burns down compared to the progress meter. It's going to take several pieces of charcoal. Um, you can see where it says blast fuel, 300 ticks. Yeah, it only lasts for 300 ticks in a blast furnace, whereas the cold coke will last for 1,200. So yeah, the cold coke lasts four times as long in the blast furnace, and it only takes one piece of cold coke to make one steel ingot. So you need four charcoal to make a steel ingot, or one cold coke. But of course, if you're on a pack like Revolution, where finding a coal vein can actually be a little tricky, um, and you're like me, and you live in a forest, Charcoal is much more abundant, so as long as you're able to produce uh, enough charcoal to keep up with this, which is not easy, actually, um, you can do it with charcoal. So yeah, a charcoal lasts for 300 ticks, a cold coke for 1200, and a block of cold coke will last for 12,000. And remember, 1200 is enough for an entire uh, steel ingot, so 12,000? That's a lot of steel ingots, man. It's 10 steel ingots. It's pretty sweet. So if I slap in a block of cold coke, you'll be able to see what happens. The fire going down much slower. This is going to last a long time, just one block of cold coke. Uh, but it is a lot of cold coke. It is nine blocks. But because it's nine pieces of cold coke and it lasts for 12,000 ticks, it's ten times as long, you actually do, it's like gaining an extra piece of cold coke if you craft it into blocks. You know? It really, it actually is. It's like get, you have not, you're putting in nine, but you're getting out the equivalent of ten. It's actually pretty good to craft these into blocks. You get a little bonus. Now, you obviously need the steel ingots for everything that's made out of steel, which is a lot of things. This is stuff that's not in immersive engineering. Like this is some immersive engineering stuff now. The big thing is engineering blocks require steel and you need engineer and steel scaffolding does and you need that to build like any of the machines in uh, immersive engineering now but what can you do with the slag the slag is not just a useless item it's actually useful you can make concrete with it so you can use slag to make concrete and of course concrete you actually run faster on and I don't, I don't think mobs can spawn on it and that's really all you can do with it <laughs> in this pack. Um, I thought you could do other things with it, but yeah, producing concrete is pretty good use for your slag because concrete is pretty awesome. I like it. It's good for making uh, paths 
and uh, between areas of your base and stuff like that because of you know how quickly you move on it. So yeah, that's actually all there is to the crude blast furnace. Now there are other blast furnace furnaces, furnace eye. I don't know what the furnace is. There is another blast furnace. We'll talk about that in the future because it uh, it's more it's more advanced. Um, but now that we talked about steel and uh, production and the blast furnace. Uh, we'll be able to go into uh, some more cool stuff, some some like machinery and things. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to actually talk about fluids and how you can uh, pump them around and stuff using immersive engineering. So that'll be fun. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for future episodes. I'm Satinal H, and I'm signing out.